Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakat. Today I am going to introduce you briefly about uh, the novel uh, Second Year Intermediate, uh, The Prison of Zenda. It is written in 1893 and published in 1894. So imagine that you are in that period and to be in that period it is important to understand what type of the development was at that time and now which is uh, I mean it may be compared with the present uh, time for instance uh, the novel shares the certain features of early late and 20th century lifestyle such as railways electric telegraph manufacturing industries capital cities like Paris and London etc and then the movement of the people like kings uh, and uh, noblemen, all of them on the horses. But motor car, uh, flight of men, it means aeroplane, cinema and radio, they were at a decade distance. It means these, uh, I mean cars and uh, railways and all these things were uh, in the initial stage of the development but was not commonly used by the common citizens. So other uh, features for instance railway, the old railway, steam engine railway and uh, there is a railway system uh, all over the world nowadays even uh, in Asia also in Africa but it may be compared with electric and uh, uh, a very fast uh, track and fast uh, railway system. So then manufacturing industry, the early industry, the, when the industrial era began, so at that time the industry was uh, not well refined but with the passage of time much improvement has been made uh, and at present the most modern manufacturing industry is uh, uh, being converted and to some extent has been converted to artificial intelligence. So similarly cinema and radio uh, I think uh, now these are the days of mini cinema and uh, like uh, on computers and on small screens uh, uh, this uh, uh, due to the internet connection uh, mobile system so very many screens so they have been replaced now and the cars different models different uh, you know shapes and uh, uh, companies uh, the cars are available about the author anthony hope hawkins he was born in 1863 and he died in 1933 he is also called as a Sir Anthony Hope Hawkins after he was knighted in 1918. He was educated at Marlborough College and Balliol College, Oxford, and he became president of U Union Society for his brilliant academic outcome. He studied law at uh, Middle Temple and became a successful lawyer, but soon he became a famous novelist, especially his sixth novel, uh, Prison of Zenda, made him a prolific writer as a novelist. He abandoned law practice and became a writer. So by luck, uh, uh, from the beginning when he uh, became a professional lawyer and advocate, uh, which he continued practicing in the court of law, but uh, uh, fortune was somewhere else. So uh, in the mid of his life, he had to change because the novel Prison of Zenda, when it uh, became very famous and the best selling. So ultimately, this led him to the writing uh, conventions. Prison of Zenda is an exciting story which revolves around the king of Ruritania. All events 
and uh, subplots they are well connected to the main plot and the novel and they keep the reader in suspense at every event and chapter rousing feelings of more curiosity to know about what unexpected may happen in the next move so this is a, a very brief uh, every event in every chapter uh, when you will read and uh, I am going to summary wise explain each chapter step by step and at the end of each chapter uh, the, the listeners and the readers they do not take any pause they want to continue reading until the end of it because they are much curious about or sometimes unexpected development which is taking place uh, in the novel. President of Zenda is the King uh, Rodolphe V of Ruritania who was drugged, kidnapped and imprisoned in the castle of Zenda by his younger half-brother Michael, Duke of Sterleso, before coronation of the king. Coronation means ceremony in which the king is crowned. Zenda is a small hilly town 50 miles away from the capital of Ruritania. Duke of Sterleso, Michael, uh, he has great influence in Zenda. So that is the end as a novel. So in the next video, I am going to give you a brief introduction about a uh, couple of groups of the characters and then individual characters. Uh, thank you very much.